students in this video lecture how to draw the ac diagram of divisor 30 comma slash where d30 is nothing but set of devices of 30 in previous video lecture we have discussed what is the procedure of ac diagram so please refer my previous video lecture why because for better understanding how to draw the ac diagram of divisor 30 okay so uh, and one more important point is in AC diagram we don't have consider the self loop and the transitive of the vertices. What is meant by self loop? Uh, that is nothing but reflexive relations. What is reflexive relation? X comma X belongs to relation set. What is transitive uh, relation? X comma Y belongs to R and Y comma Z belongs to R. Then X comma Z belongs to R. So in AC diagram, we should uh, we don't have consider the self loop and the transitive of the vertices. Okay. So first, I am going to write what are the elements are divisible by 30. Okay. So first, we write the devices of the devices of 30 are one is divisible by 30 with remainder value is zero. So two two also divisible by 30. 3 also divisible by 30. How many times? 3 tens are 30. Remainder value is 0. 4 is not divisible by 30. 5 is divisible by 30. 6 also divisible by 30. We, we get remainder value is 0. Okay. 7, 8, 9. These 3 numbers are not divisible by 30. Next number is divisible by 30 is 10. 10 3s are 30. Remainder value is 0. Next number is 15. And last number is 30. Okay. These are the divisible by 30 okay so next i am going to define relation set okay how to define relation set they given di uh, division symbol that means we have to write order we have to write order pair this order pair satisfies the what a divides b with remainder value is what zero once you get remainder value zero that elements are your order pair. Okay. So first we take the element is 1. So 1 one divides 1, we get remainder value is 0. So that you get first order pair is 1 comma 1. But 1 comma 1 is you get self loop. So that I am not considered the order pair is 1 comma 1. Okay. Next number is 1 divides 2. Right. So 1 divides 2, your remainder value is 0. Next one is 1 divides, remainder value is 0. 1 divides 5. Next 1 divides and 1 divides 10 uh, next 1 divides 15 okay uh, next 1 next 1 divides 30 okay to second one what is second one 2 okay 2 is not divides uh, 2 does not divides 3 why because your remainder value is some non zero so therefore, next one is 2 does not divide 5. Okay, 2 divides 6. Remainder value is 0. Next 2 divides 10. Remainder value is 0. Okay. 2 does not divide 15, but 2 divides 30. Okay, 15, 30. Next, you take third. Okay, what is third element? 3. 3 does not divide 5. 3 divides 6. 3 divides 15. Then 3 divides 30 okay next you take 5 5 does not divide 6 why because remainder value is non zero so 5 divides 10 okay next 5 15 and 5 divides 30 okay so next you take 6 6 does not divide 10 uh, 6 divides uh, 30 okay 6 divides 30 okay next you take uh, 10 10 does not divide 15 but 10 Next you take 15, 15 divides 30, okay. Next you take 30, 30 divides 30, but you get remainder value is 0. 30 comma 30, you get uh, trans self loop, that means reflexive, okay. So these order pairs are, okay, these order pair satisfies the given condition. That means A divides B with remainder value 0, okay. Uh, the divisor of 30 are totally we have 80 elements are there so using this 80 element we have to get the maximum order pair is 64 order pair okay 
So out of 64 order pair, we get only this order pair satisfies the given conditions. What is given condition? A by uh, A divides B with remainder value is zero. Okay. How to draw the AC diagram? First step is each element represented by a small circle. Okay. So now we are going to draw the AC diagram for divisor of 30. What is AC diagram procedure? If each element represented by small circle. Okay. Second, what is second point? You consider first element is X, second element is Y. If X less than Y, then the circle for X is drawn below the circle for Y. After that, if Y covers X with remainder value is 0, then we have to draw the line between X and Y. Okay. So now I am going to consider this is X, this is Y. And also 1 divides 2 with remainder value is 0. So therefore, I am going to consider this circle is 1, this circle is 2. Okay, so here uh, 1 divides 2 with remainder value is 0. Therefore, we have to draw the line between 1 and 2. Coming to next to 1, so here 2 does not divide 3. Okay, but 1 divides 3. So therefore, I am going to consider I am going to consider next element is 3, 1, 3. Okay, but 2 does not divide 3. Okay, so coming to next to 1. Uh, three year three does not divides five. Okay, so if three does not divides five means go to previous one. Previous one is two. Two also does not divides five. Okay, so two does not divides five means again go to uh, previous one. One divides five, right? So one divides five. I am going to consider next element is five here. Okay, so coming to next element five and six. Okay, this is x. So you consider this is x, this is y. If x, okay, but five does not divide six. So go to previous one. Three divides six. Okay, two also divides six. So I'm going to consider this element is six. So three divides uh, six. Uh, two also divides six. One also divides six. If we connect line between one and six, you should get what? transitive property but in AC diagram we don't have consider loop and the transitive property okay so next one uh, to see 610 6 does not divide 10 okay so go to previous one 5 divides 10 okay uh, so I'm going to fix a, a 10 year okay I'm going to fix 10 year okay so 5 divides a 10 okay 2 also divides 10, right? Also divides 10. If we connect 1 to 10, we get a transitive property. Okay. So next to 1, 10 does not divide uh, 15. 6 also does not divide 15. 5 divides 15. Okay. So I am going to fix a uh, year 15. 5 divides 15. 3 also divides 15. Okay. 1 also divides 15. If we connect to uh, 15, property okay so next to one uh, 5 15 divides 30 right so i'm going to fix year 30 uh, 15 divides uh, 30 10 also divides 30 okay 3 also divides 30 but we get transitive property uh, 6 also divides 30 okay 2 divides 30 if we connect 2 to 30 we get transitive property okay 1 also divides 30 if we connect to we get transitive property. Therefore, this is the AC diagram for what? Therefore, AC diagram for divisor 30 comma division. Okay. So this is the way we have to find AC diagram. I hope you are enjoying this video. Thank you.